Hello, everybody. Yes, there's been an update to the quote-unquote studio, which is just my bedroom. Uh, yes, I moved bedrooms. Walls are pink. But yes, this is a permanent change, so... And obviously, this is still construction, so... So, it's gonna be fixed throughout the making of new videos. Um, but I just wanted to get this video out of the way, because... I'm already a day overdue, and yes, I've been just moving my stuff in here. And that's, that's besides personal stuff. Let's get to the video. This is just a random question I have. I wonder how the $200 gaming PC could really run on Windows 11. The Windows 11 support list of CPUs, you don't need it anymore. I found a very easy way to do it, which I will not be sharing with you. However, Cyber CPU Tech will. I watched one of his his videos. He's a great guy. Go subscribe to him. I am. And basically, just how to run Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. And even though this computer does not have a UEFI BIOS or a TPM module and an unsupported TPU, mind you. So go check out his video. He'll explain how to do it. And yep, go subscribe to him. The idea of this video: How would the $200 gaming PC compared compare um, in Windows 10 versus Windows 11? That's basically the main idea. Windows 10 22H2 build. 19045.4651 and com completely stock and for windows 11 i i ran windows 11 home 23h2 22631.3880 and yes completely stock for the operating system itself too uh let's start with 3d mark time spy graphically demanding and cpu demanding so i mean best of both worlds right windows 10 the total score i got was 4479 Graphics score was 4351, and the CPU was 5387. Windows 11 total was 4433, the graphics was 4283, and CPU was 5533. Let me just say, all of these tests were literally intolerance of, of each other. Uh, for a reminder, what's in the $200 gaming PC? It is a E5 2650v2, it's an 8 core, 8 core 16 thread parts. Uh, running off the Ivy Bridge architecture. And yes, it is locked at 2.6 gigahertz, but even then, yes, it's an older 8-core part. Maybe older 4-core and older 2-core uh, parts would not perform identical to this, but basically all the tests was tolerance. And, but minus R20. In R20, the single score versus Windows 10 and Windows 11 for R20 was exactly the same, but multi-score. Windows 10, 1948 for the multi-score. Can you guess multi-score for Windows 11? It's much higher. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that the multi-score really increased as much. Maybe it's because of the better schedule that can really, um, you know, hit all of the eight cores more efficiently. Multi-score for Windows 11 was a noticeable difference of 1952. That is a four-point difference. You will... That's completely... That's like a 12100F versus like a 12900K. That's just out of this world gain of performance. My god. These systems should be running Windows 11 immediately. That is not tolerance. That, that four points, four points, mind you, that is m massive. So 7-Zip, I ran 10 passes and all of your local cores to uh, do the compression and decompression benchmarks. For the compression benchmarks, percent of increase compared to Windows 10 to 11 was 0.235% tolerance. The decompression benchmark yielded a result of 0.328% increase. So yes, tolerance. Civ 6 bench at DirectX 12, Windows 10, 8.83 seconds per turn, and Windows 11, 8.81 seconds per turn. Again, tolerance. Hellblade 2, Windows 10, and uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the values, but again, it is tolerance. So yes, I actually thought there'd be a meaningful difference compared to Windows 10 to 11, at least for the CPU. Yes, it's eight cores, but it's on the Ivy Bridge process. But this isn't true for everybody. Majority of people that are on the unsupported list of Windows 11 CPUs, um, minus Ryzen, are most likely four core or two core CPUs. SMT, I mean, it does matter at that point. I will do a follow-up video compared to this. I, I just needed to rush this video out the door, guys. I'm sorry. I would have did more testing. I would have included with these, um, I would have included the four core and two core benchmarks. I just didn't have time. I need to push this video out the door very, very quickly. And yeah, that's why the room is not finished yet. If it's at least eight core, it's going to perform with intolerance of Windows 10 if you run it on Windows 11. So again, go check out Cyber CPU Tech and he will give you a very easy way to actually run Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It took me 30 seconds to run command line and I was installing Windows 11. So yeah, that's the video. I'm, th thank you guys for wasting the amount of time. The, this, this total shoot right now is 14, 15 minutes. 
15 minutes it took me to record this. Majority of the time, yes, um, majority of my videos are probably around like 15 to 20 minutes long. I stumble on my words a lot, so majority of those shoots are like an hour long. And yeah, I have to condense it to 20 minutes around. But yeah, this shoot was 15 minutes. So it's either I'm getting less study with my words, or this is just a very quick video and I'm rushing out of the door at this point. But yeah, um, summary, to summarize everything. I did not test the four core or two core. I will end the video next week. But if you have probably at least maybe six cores, Windows 11 versus Windows 10 will perform with intolerance of your gaming and maybe productivity needs. Uh, if you if you're stuck out on the Haswell platform or even KB Lake, uh, for some reason KB Lake's not on there, but I don't know Microsoft being Microsoft, I guess. Again, next week I'm I'm truly gonna test four core and two core uh, CPUs on Windows 11. Uh, you might have a harder time on Windows 11. Uh, I I can't say though because I didn't test it yet. If you're running off of a hard drive, just get an SSD, please. At least to say to SSD, please. My God, poor the poor operating system. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for uh, wasting, I mean, shoot and all in all was around 18 minutes long. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to condense this to, but probably around six minutes. If Thank you guys for wasting six precious minutes with me of seeing how this Xeon literally performs with intolerance and could be on the supported platform of CPUs. Thank you for wasting your time. Have a good rest, you guys, this day or night. Love you guys. Subscribe if you haven't today. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys. Farewell. Love you guys. Goodbye.